Oh crap! I almost forgot. Thirty-three years. Can you believe it? I've been on this earth for 33 years. It's crazy. Today's a special day guys and we have something fun planned today and I'm going to take you along on the journey as well. We are actually going out to buy some king crabs and then bring them back home, cook them at home and I'm going to share all of that with you guys. It's going to be fun. For those of you who don't know, Dubai lifted the ban, the travel ban that was in place for almost three weeks during which we weren't allowed to go outside but the last couple of days they've lifted the ban and people are allowed to travel but because i have a small baby with me so we're trying to avoid going to malls so we're just going to go to the market grab a couple of things that we need and then come back home and celebrate my 33rd birthday right here at home i'm going to share all of that with you i'm going to show you the market and then I'm going to show you how I make crabs at home. It's a super easy way of making them and they turn out to be extremely delicious. So let's just go, let's get on our way, go get those king crabs and then bring them back home and prepare them. Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> let's go. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Wait. Okay now, from the beginning. So right now we are on our way to Dubai's biggest seafood market and also the most amazing one. Okay guys, so we've just made it to the market where we're going today to buy the king crabs. It's called the waterfront market and that's where we're going situation they are not letting me use my camera to film inside so I had to step back outside to make this part and I'm just going to show you bits and pieces of what the fish market is like but for anyone who's coming here it is amazing and there are so many different options and you can actually bargain to get the best price for yourself uh, so I'll show you bits and pieces of it then we're just going to grab the things that we came here for and go back home and continue the vlog From the beginning. Okay guys, so I have picked up the stuff and now we're gonna head back home and cook these. I have a very special yet amazing yummy way to cook crabs at home so I'm going to show you that when we reach home let's stay tuned also guys this is the waterfront market so the view over here is amazing check this out okay guys just made it back home with the crabs and now we're going to cook them and show you how that's done so I got these cleaned at 
the market but I'm just washing them once more all right so we've divided the crabs into two different pots because we're going to prepare them in two different ways all right so this is the big pot and the easiest simplest way to make crabs is to simply put them in a pot with a lot of water add some salt add chili powder as per your taste and just let it boil over a low heat for some time that's it and for the other one what you can do is you can add some vegetables onions carrots um, and stuff like that and make a richer broth but I'm not going to do that so I've decided to just add them into the first pot and I'm just going to boil these crabs and enjoy them because when you boil them they retain their juicy flavor which they somehow lose when you barbecue them or grill them so we're just going to boil them uh, maintain that juiciness and then just going to enjoy these and we also have a surprise guest that I picked up when I was at the waterfront market and that's this little guy. I'm using the same technique. I'm just going to add water, this little fellow, along with salt and chili. And I'm going to boil this and let's see how it turns out. Yummy! Looks yummy, right? Yummy! So we need to let these boil for like around 30 to 40 minutes. And after that, the crabs are already changing color guys. Oh my god, just look at that. That looks so good. Look at that man. That is going to be so good. Let's see how Mr. Lobster is doing. What's up Mr. Lobster? Okay, so this hasn't changed color yet because I just started this but this will also become red as it keeps boiling. So we need to let this boil for 30 to 40, 45 minutes as well. This is already smelling so good guys. Oh my god. Oh my god guys, just look at this. Hello Mr. Lobster. This looks so yummy guys, I cannot wait any longer and they're ready. So let's dig in. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. This smells delicious and looks amazing. So I'm directly going to jump into it. You can use this, um, but I've also seen people on YouTube using scissors to cut the shell and that seems like a more uh, civilized way to do it. So I'm gonna try using the scissors to cut these and I'm going to start with one of these shells, but they're super hot. So I'm just gonna wait for like five minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this amazing soup that comes from the water and the spices that we added to the crabs so the water that you add into it does not go to waste it actually becomes this amazing soup which you can have so i'm going to have this while the while the lobster and the crabs cool down a bit and then i'm going to dig into those oh my god that is so amazing yum it's so rich because of all the juices coming out of the crabs into the soup. It's amazing. It doesn't need any flavoring. Okay guys, let's tackle these now. Okay, it actually works. Oh my god guys, just look at that. Look at all that meat. Yum. Look at that guys. Okay now, from the beginning. Oh my god, amazing. Let's try the upper part. The scissors seem to work. The scissors really seem to work. It makes life a lot easier. Oh my god, just look at that meat. And just look at the meat in here. Guys. This is absolute heaven. This is heaven. Absolute heaven. All 
right, now let's tackle the guest of honor. That's Mr. Lobster right here. So we cut the shell here before boiling it. So hopefully this is all cooked and nice and juicy inside. Let's see. And we can also take out the meat from here. So I'm just gonna divide it into two, get the tail separate from the head. Oh my God, guys, just look at the meat inside this lobster. Oh my God, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna try and get this open. Oh, look at this. The meat just fell out. And it is absolutely amazing. It's so soft. It's so soft and juicy. Let's see. Awesome. Amazing guys. That is amazing. Premium meat right here. Check this out guys. We still have a lot of meat over here in the lobster tail itself. These look so amazing. Just look at that. Just look at the meat in there. Just look at that guys, it's so beautiful. Okay guys, so I cannot finish all of this and continue this vlog at the same time. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below if you like seafood or not and what do you think about this way of preparing crabs. Also, if you try this recipe, it's, it's fairly simple, but if you try it, then do give me a thumbs up if you like it and let me know what you think about it. I will see you again next time with another vlog. Till then, take very good care of yourself and remember, stay safe. Even if your country is not on a strict lockdown, try to avoid the outings as much as you can and try to be cautious of what's going on around us. So stay safe, wish you all the best and see you next time. Bye-bye.